Hi guys, I'm Kristen. You're watching Kay's Perfect Fitness TV. So welcome to week four, last week of how to slim down your waistline series. So this is going to be our biggest workout yet. It's definitely gone up three levels since we started from week one. So I'm really excited for today. So it follows our same formula, our nine minute reverse hit pyramid training to burn that belly fat, followed by our six minute abs, focusing on those obliques to tighten and tone up your waistline. So make sure you are still pairing this with your healthy diet because you are not going to get those results that you want if you're not pairing this with, with your clean and green diet. That is imperative to getting the results that you want. And also make sure you're getting good quality sleep every single night. So um, let's get right into our workout. So make sure you quickly pause the video and do your three minute warm up. I want you to get yourself ready to go because this workout is intense today. So um, pause the video. All right guys, welcome back. You are ready to go. I have my gym ball set for our reverse pyramid timing. 50 seconds, 55 seconds for our first move. And that is a drop squat with a crisscross. So on your mark, get set. Drop it like it's hot. Ah, oh, down, cross, cross, down, crisscross, down, crisscross, down, crisscross. Let's add some arms. Crisscross, down, crisscross. So hopefully you guys have been doing this with me since week one. You have your training calendars and you've been very good at sticking to it because with that training calendar you can really be consistent with your workouts. Drop your knees and tail down on your squats. Awesome job, you guys. One, 
two, jump and change. One, two, jump and change. Luckily, I put this at the top of the pyramid, so we only have to do it once. Now, if you're struggling to get those jumps in, step back, double pulse lunge, step back, double pulse lunge. You can take out the impact if you're struggling. Push out that front heel. Good guys, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. 25 seconds. Take those little karate chop, whatever you need. We're gonna go into our speed skater. So, coming back up the triangle. Moves are gonna get a longer. Rest time gets a little shorter from now on, okay? So, getting ready for your speed skater again. Right now, here we go. Side to side. So, make sure you're pushing off the side of your foot and try to push back off of your heel a little bit as well to engage those glutes a little bit more. You can stay lifted or you can start to reach down towards the floor. Try not to reach right down to the floor, but think about reaching out. Think about reaching out to the screen in front of you, yeah? So you can keep your chest up a little bit. Right, we don't drop in the shoulders and become bad technique. We wanna be good technique all the time. Perfect technique. Good guys, rest, shake it out. We're gonna go back into those push-ups. Take some time to breathe, reset, recover, come down to the floor. Make sure your hands and feet are wide. We want to be able to have plenty of room for your hips to go back. So big push up and send the hips back. Big push up and back. So moving push ups, forward and back. This is a fantastic exercise for your chest, your triceps, your shoulders, your thighs, your core. It's an amazing full body move that's really going to torch that fat. And it's really metabolic to help you burn calories throughout the rest of the day. Good. Awesome. Well done, you guys. So, next move is our side burpee. Catch your breath. This is tough, guys. Week four, I told you it was going to be fierce. So, down, back, side, back, in, and up. Back, side, back, in, and up. Back, side, back, in, and up. So, we're doing this move. For 50 seconds. Keep going, guys. Come on, you gotta push through it. Breath. 
catch your breath. That is it. And then you. Changing it over to our ab work. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for six rounds. Get ready for it. It's not gonna be easy. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it well, and we're gonna do it together. It's gonna feel amazing. So, got my gym breath ready to go. Our first move, our leg scoops. So line your back, contract those obliques, bring your bottom rib down to your hip. Lift both legs to tabletop. The C3. Okay, hands on the floor. Take one foot. We scoop, lower it, and bring it back in. Other leg. Down, up, down, and back. Down, out, down, and back. So I'm scooping my heel along the floor to lengthen all the way out, scooping it back in to bring it back to tabletop. Just keeping my abs braced as I do it. Really tightening that corset around my rib cage. Doing so well, you guys. Bring it in, feet up. Now we're doing our reverse curl. So last week we did the reverse curl with a twist. Today it is just straight up. But I do want you to lift your hips that half inch higher now. Okay, lift, lift. Make sure that you have a nice cushioned mat or your carpet so you can protect your spine. Come on and lift those hips a little bit higher. We do this for 50 seconds. So when we get to approximately 25 seconds, you're gonna see this right now. Just change your feet over, just so that way you don't feel one thigh even more than the other. Bringing our legs back to tabletop. Hands come behind your head. We're just lowering those knees down a little bit so we can crunch forward, hold, extend your arms and legs long, bring it back in, and lower it down. Exhale, curl forward, extend your arms and legs long, bring it back in, and lower it down. Exhale, forward, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in a little higher, inhale, lower. <sighs> Keep going, you guys. I just want you to focus on your breathing. Keep practicing the technique. Hug those knees in. We're going into our bleaks now. So it's a single leg extension, single leg stretch with the upper body rotation. So we're twisting. So last week we did those bicycles. This week, it's a little bit more straightforward. It's just twisting side to side. Because our nine minute hit was so intense, I wanna keep the ab section a little bit more basic so that way you can keep good technique. Because I know you're still trying to recover from those nine minutes. So, it's still really tough, but just not as crazy dancy. Sometimes I get a little more carried away. I'm so just make sure your hips stay still or twisting the upper body. Opposite shoulder to your knee. Make sure the elbows stay wide. Good, bring it in and lower it down. Roll yourself up and flip yourself around. We're going into a plank with a hip twist. Okay. So bring your feet right together. We're twisting our hips. Side, center, side, center. Press your chest forward. <sighs> Keep those abs braced. If you're struggling, bring your knees down, hold three-quarter plank. You can still do a little hip twist. 
fest. Bring it back in, whatever you need. amazing workout to finish the series on. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you've downloaded that training calendar so you know when to do this later on in the week and find out what other workouts I suggest you do to pair along throughout the week. So I hope you've enjoyed this. How to get a sli slimmer waistline. It's amazing. Make sure you just stick with it so you really kickstart your healthy healthy habit regime and you will be able to keep with this. I'm making it so easy for you. And when I say clean, lean, and green, I really mean it. Try to cook yourself. That way you know what you're putting in your food. Make sure your food is organic. It's lots of vegetable heavy, it's vegetable dense, and you're eating your lean proteins, whether it's meat, fish, lentils, whatever you like. I want you to be creative in the kitchen. I don't cook with recipes. That's why I don't share recipes. I just cook with love. And that's all you need to do. Know what you like and cook yourself. So um, that's my word of inspiration today because you've worked so hard. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another amazing workout. I'm Kristen, you're watching Kay's Perfect Fitness TV.